so first of all go to file and open the image you want as a background you can use anything related to spider so I'm using the spiderman wallpaper okay so and now we want the spiderman font so I'm using the font I have already used in my file okay now by default Photoshop do not have the amazing spiderman font and that's obvious so there's a website called fontspace.com and they have very similar the amazing spider-man 2 font not completely similar because of copyright issues so first of all uh, for your differences I'll go to my layer style and turn off all the effects okay and also from the spider-man let me turn off all the effects and okay here we are done now for that texture look maybe I can show you here mm, wait a second wait all that okay this grunge effect or whatever you call it okay so for the effects on the font double click on your layer and first of all I'm selecting bevel and emboss for the bevel style inner bevel technique smooth depth 103 direction up size 5 and all other things are pretty by default so let me show you angle is 30 close counter by default and highlight mode screen opposite 75 shadow mode multiply and again 75 it's all default you don't need to worry about that and then add the texture for texture I'm using gray granite texture and texture scale is 1 and depth 993 maybe complete 1000 that's great now after that we need to add a stroke so for the stroke I'm using size of 7 and blend mode normal position is outside if you want inside inside you can use it but that it's looking really bad okay outside and for the f and fill type color and for the color code it's 300A05 it's dark red color not necessary to follow the code but the dark red should work okay after that <coughs> gradient overlay in the gradient overlay blending mode normal opacity 41 and for the gradient I'm using default foreground to background gradient which is first in your gradient editor say so, okay and the scale is 100 and your angle is complete 90 so it's completely straight and after that drop shadow just to separate it a bit from the background maybe a di maybe a little distance mm. okay that's no that's too much mm. okay that's good it might okay it's not that much different sorry okay let's have some distance and okay so we are done with our main layer after that all you got to do first of all let me delete all the effects and here we are done okay after that all you got to do is hold down your alter key and drag this effects on both of your on your other layers okay <coughs> after that's done I added some smoke into the background so I also have my smoke image here and just drag it into your composition and close it we don't need it okay it's over here now we cannot see pretty much anything because of that black color but when you put your layer on screen mode it will remove all the black and we will left with only the smoke and it is looking pretty decent right now uh, after that I added some of the color effects so let me see that okay here is the color balance I'm adding that don't worry I'll show the parameters okay after we have that just put it downwards okay that's pretty good and for the smoke maybe I put it over here yeah that's looking pretty good in the color balance in the parameters midtones minus 29 and for the yellows I'm using plus 24 and 
highlights uh, in the red section plus 33 and in the yellow minus 93 so too much of yellow and you can change it as per your need I mean everybody has different taste so our output is pretty much done but if you want something more so maybe we can add vignette so go to your gradient make sure you have selected this default foreground to background and your also make sure that you have selected radial gradient and then just throw it here and if it's not re if it's not reverse and it's coming something like this make sure you have selected reverse and then put it again okay it's pretty good now put it on a multiply mode so all we are normally we have white a little gray and black so when I will put it on multiply mode all we have is black and dark black colors and just scale down a bit okay I might also scale up the fonts so press ctrl T and scale it up a bit now if you want the all fonts in the center uh, select all of your font layer press ctrl A uh, select this marquee tool and in the tr uh, here you will find center to oops I fucked up and it's looking pretty good so you can also do one thing so make sure you have selected your any of the text layer press ctrl a and make sure it's in the center second last icon here for that you have to select marquee tool this one and select the second last icon over here again go to the amazing click that button go to two and click that button and now all of our text is in the center so it's pretty much done if you want to reduce some of the opacity yeah it's good so it's ready you can use it as your FB cover or wallpaper you can type in your own name yeah that's cool thing about it you go to the amazing and let me type tutorials junction and here we have it just center it and tutorials junction amazing experiment too okay that's really bad whatever so here we are done with our tutorial so thank you very much for share thank you very much for watching if you like it it would be great so hope so and good luck for you and if you have done and if you follow this tutorial you have created something you can show me on my you can send me images on my email id that's in the description you can find it so pretty much done thank you very much for watching hope you guys learned something enjoy have fun bye